So it's going to be a steamy day. Ooh, Correct, yeah. Kate? Yes, it is going to be a hot summer like kind of day. Now, it is meteorological summer, but it's not quite. A astronomical summer, right? That begins with the summer solstice just over two weeks from now. But boy, it's going to feel like we just kind of fast forwarded right into July again. We felt that way yesterday as well. If you liked yesterday, you'll like today. It's sunny already. The sun is just about to come up here in about uh, 15 minutes or so, maybe even less down the shore. Right now in Philadelphia, skies are totally clear. It is warm. It is humid with dew points in the upper 60s and relative humidity at 93%. That's what that means. You can see the dew point very close to the temperature. That'll tell you that it's sticky outside. Also, looking at the dew point, upper 60s puts us firmly in the humid range. Winds are out of the east at 5 miles per hour. And all across the region, again, starting the day in the mid to upper 60s, the Poconos, the one cool spot at 57 degrees. Tracking June so far, we've only had three full days of June, but every one of them has been above average. 84 Saturday, 86 Sunday. We got to 87 yesterday and aiming for a high of 88 today. That puts us more than six degrees above average, but the month is young and we are going to see uh, some cooler air start to move in for the weekend. Across the region today, again, we're headed for 88 in Philadelphia. It will be noticeably cooler down the shore thanks to a southeast breeze off the ocean. We'll keep it in the 70s on the sand, 88 in the Lehigh Valley. It's one of those days you head just a mile or two inland, few blocks to inland in the shore towns, and you're going to feel the heat. But on the sand itself, with that nice sea breeze, it will be noticeably cooler. And we will experience a dew point drop in the afternoon. So we go from a humid morning to later this afternoon, dew points back to the upper 50s. That puts us kind of in that not bad range, at least briefly. So while it is going to be hot, the humidity does come down slightly in the afternoon. But look what happens tomorrow into Thursday. The humidity really starts to climb as our next system moves through and we get rain chances. It's going to feel a little sticky and steamy as that system approaches. So nothing happening right now as we widen out across the country. See the swirl of clouds and precipitation here. This is this big upper low that's going to really impact us through the weekend. It'll pull in some of this moisture from the south and all of this advances east. What that means kind of on a local level for us is that there could be a pop up shower this afternoon. Doesn't look like much just with the heating of the day. Tomorrow morning fog and low clouds. Some breaks of sun here, filtered sun in the afternoon. It's not a beautiful day tomorrow, but most of the day is dry and it's later tomorrow evening into tomorrow night that we'll start to see showers filter in some heavier rain, rumbles of thunder here late tomorrow night into early Thursday morning and a few morning showers Thursday before we try to dry out and brighten up in the afternoon. Another round of afternoon showers and storms possible. And after that system moves through this upper low I just showed you, it's going to kind of sit and spin nearby through the weekend. Chance of spotty afternoon showers each day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but it is looking like it may stay a little further to the north and west. So we have trended Friday and the weekend drier. Maybe a stray shower Saturday, better chance Sunday, but otherwise it is comfortable through the weekend with sunshine each day. Showers return by Monday.